We discuss the most powerful warship used by the Rebellion on today's episode of Star Wars Legends Lore. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Legends lore video. Today, we'll be talking about a ship that first appeared in a video game that many of you probably haven't heard of. First though, let's talk about the Rebel Alliance. The Alliance was well known for their favoring of hit and run tactics with an emphasis on a small, light, mobile fleet. It may surprise you then that the Alliance actually made use of a battle cruiser, specifically the Bulwark. The ship first appears in the Star Wars Rebellion video game, where it's called the Rebel Bulwark Battle Cruiser, and is listed as the most powerful vessel within the Rebel fleet, and also is the final researchable ship in the Alliance's tech tree. The game gives some details about the ship's specifications, listing for example firepower. However, these numbers here don't actually represent turbo lasers, and are instead just a general description of the ship's power. That's clear when you look at something like the Imperial 2 Star Destroyer, which we know obviously didn't have 200 forward-facing cannons. Unfortunately, even with a ship like the Star Destroyer serving as a base with concrete numbers, there's no way to transfer what we have in-game to a real concrete gun count. For example, perhaps the 300 points in damage coverage on the sides come from the forward-facing weapons, we really just don't know. Regardless, we know that when compared with a Star Destroyer, the Bulwark can put three times more firepower forward, two times more backward, and over twice as much to the flanks, making this a pretty fearsome vessel. Again, we don't know whether this is due to more guns or better weapon placement, but that's arguably unimportant. The Bulwark also has a stronger shield and carried nearly twice as many fighters. The game specifically tells us that the Bulwark's extensive arsenal, shielding, and carrying capacity make it ideal for large-scale operations, and that it can stand up to anything short of a Super Star Destroyer. The strategy guide also states, and I quote, The Bulwark Battlecruiser is the most powerful rebel ship in the game and can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with all Imperial ships except the Death Star. It is almost a fleet in and of itself. And when you look at the game, it actually outclasses an Executor Super Star Destroyer in pure turbo laser power and comes close in shielding, though it is beaten in fighter carrying and overall weaponry. However, we have to keep in mind, at this point, Super Star Destroyers within the lore were only 8 kilometers long. They would later be retconned to over twice the size, at 19 kilometers, and they were generally seen as more powerful. It should be noted that the Bulwark vastly outclasses Mon Cal cruisers stats-wise as well, though admittedly the Home 1 isn't detailed, and the MC-80 seems to be underpowered compared to the ISD. I would suggest not to take the stats here too literally, but what is important is that the Bulwark seems to be uniquely a very powerful frontline warship for the Rebellion. So what else can we learn about the Bulwark Battlecruiser? Well, the Star Wars Encyclopedia simply copies the description from in-game, and it's not really mentioned in other source books, with one exception that I'll talk about later. The Bulwark sees its first real action in the Vong Invasion comics, though under the control of the New Republic, obviously not the Rebel Alliance. This leads me to believe that this type of battlecruiser was extraordinarily rare. Perhaps there were only one of these in the Alliance's navy, which was likely destroyed or perhaps abandoned due to staffing concerns and the fact that it doesn't really fit Alliance military doctrine, because we know none of these ships actually appeared at the Battle of Endor. Historically, bulwark cruisers, perhaps of different types, were also used by the Techno Union and the Confederacy of Independent Systems during the Clone Wars, representing some of the CIS's largest ships. And and this actually leads me to, arguably, some confusion over the subtype of battlecruiser used by the Rebel Alliance. It's often referred to, specifically online and non-official sources, as a Mark III. However, the Essential Guide to Warfare says that the Bulwark Mark III was built for the New Republic by Transgal Meg using old Techno Union designs. This suggests to me that the Mark III was new, post Endor, and thus by definition could not have been used by the Rebel Alliance. I think it's likely that the New Republic used the Mark III and the Alliance the Mark I or II, a much older vessel, but still very formidable. I mean, this makes sense because we know that the Alliance use Clone War relics when they get their hands on them and the game mentions that despite its capabilities, the Bulwark Battlecruiser was known for electronic 
and sensor failures, again, indicating some equipment age. However, regardless of the specifics, the Bulwark was clearly a unique vessel for the Rebel Alliance. A large battlecruiser with firepower eclipsing even a Star Destroyer, and shielding approaching that of a Super Star Destroyer. However, that's all for today. Let me know what you think of this ship down in the comment section, and whether you think the Alliance used the Bulwark Mark III, the Mark I, the Mark II, or just something different. Anyway guys, until next time, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the Force be with you.